Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Dr. Sigidar, for that kind introduction to this course. So I think this is really a unique course for at least MOA, and uh, uh, me and Dr. Taral have discussed a lot about it, how to go about things like that. So we have kept it like a story model. So it will be something like if you are a potential faculty or you want to become a faculty in MOA Con or uh, on any other conference, so how will you go about? How will you go about selecting the topic? How will you go about selecting? How will you go about collecting your data for that topic? How will you go about uh, presenting yourself, preparing the PowerPoint? Uh, so it's like a story. The entire session that we have planned is, is in that mode. So in that thing, the first is what it means to be a faculty. So at the offset, I'd like to thank MOA as well as Aurangabad Orthopedic Association for this opportunity, especially Dr. Sigedar and Dr. Santapure. And it matches our presidential theme of orthopedic excellence through technology. So what it means to be a faculty, what it means to stand on the podium and address an audience. And when you get an invitation from a conference, what should you feel? What, what, is, what is the uh, meaning of that invitation? So unless you understand the meaning of that, you won't exactly grasp what it is actually. Probably the organizers have recognized that you have very good surgical skills. I mean, we are a surgical branch, so you have done excellent surgical work and that's a recognition. The invitation is recognition of your surgical skills. But more importantly, your entire peer community is actually hailing you. Hailing you in what terms? Your honesty, your authenticity, your integrity, <coughs> and your love for the subject. So this is the fourth thing on which a faculty should be based on. And I think if you get an invitation, you should think of these four terms. So your peers think that you are really, really honest about the work you are doing. You are really authentic about what you are doing. You are a, you're a person of great integrity. And you have love and passion for the subject. So unless you have all these four, probably you won't get an invitation for faculty. So what's your role? So you perceive that. You understand that invitation for faculty means this. So what's the goal of uh, you being presenting? It's very simple. You have to just prove them right. You have to prove the audience right. You have to prove the organizers right, that they are right in selecting you. And it's a great honor to be invited as a faculty for your state association, even your city association. With honor, it, it, it feels powerful. I mean, you feel the power. In, amongst your peers, when you're invited, you share, OK, I'm invited in MOACON, I'm invited in IOA. You feel a power behind that. And with power, the word power, this guy comes in my mind. Everybody knows who he is. And the, and the great saying, with great power comes great responsibility. So with that power, you need to understand that you are also responsible for something. So what, what is your responsibility? And to whom is that responsibility? I think your first responsibility is to your audience. So you need to understand your audience. So after you get the invitation, you feel, you understand the meaning of it, and you go ahead with uh, uh, taking your responsibility ahead. So what's an audience? You, how do you go ahead with the audience? You analyze your audience. You try and understand who are your audience. Are they postgraduate students? Are they private practitioners? Or is the mixed population? You need to understand what they want. You have to understand the demographic. Is this a younger population, an older population? You have to understand what interests them. Why would they come and hear your lecture? Uh, the environment where it is being, uh, where the entire program is scheduled, it's a medical college, it's a hotel, it's a evening program, all these things you need to keep in mind. You need to understand what the audience needs. Customize the, your entire presentation around your audience. Your audience is your main focus. It's not you presenting your work, but audience getting to know what you're doing. And you have to meet those expectations. You have to explain it simply. If you can't explain it in simple terms, it, 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 uh, it reflects that you yourself haven't understood the same thing. A lot of people come on podium, start presenting really complex cases, really complex presentation with a lot of tables and charts. 
doesn't convey to the audience. It has to be really, really simple. The other responsibility is towards your organizers. You have to talk to your organizers. You get an invitation, and till the last minute, you don't speak to the organizers. You have to speak to the organizers what they want, why they have invited you, what they expect from you. You have to be very, very clear with them. I mean, you, you actually need to talk to them two or three times to understand, because it keeps on changing. So they, a lot of discussion goes in MOA uh, executive or selection of faculty and everything. So we also have, the organizers also have some expectation from the faculty. You need to understand that. The other responsibility is to your convenience. So when you are a part of a symposium, part of a CME or group, everybody has a role to play. You can't play individually. So everybody has to row the boat properly, in a proper direction. So you have to talk to each other. You have to play your role. You have to decide what you are going to do. Only if you are going to do it as a team, you will be innovative, you will be effective, you will be creative, and you will be communicative. So being a faculty is an opportunity to prove yourself to your peers. It's a great challenge. I think, I think public speaking, coming on the podium and speaking to your peers is not an easy task. It's difficult. It's challenging. But it's the greatest gift, one of the greatest gifts of your life. Thank you.